Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at our next rule, which is called the product rule. And let's just go ahead and review some of the things that we had. Now remember, we said what can we do with functions? So we can now differentiate this, we can now differentiate this, and we can now differentiate this. And we're going to need to use this a little bit more often. So I went ahead and rewrote the chain rule. So the only two that we really have left is the product rule and the quotient rule. And today what we're going to look at in 21F.1 is the product rule. Okay, this is what the product rule says. It says if you have two functions that are multiplied together, then derivative, then the derivative with res of y with respect to x is going to be equal to, and this is the same thing as y prime, it's going to be equal to f prime of x times it by g of x plus f of x times it by g prime of x. So the main thing that you need to be able to determine then is what is f of x, what is g of x, how do you determine the derivative of those functions, and you just multiply them using this formula here. So let's just take a look at an example. Let's say, uh, here's example one. Let's say that you have y is equal to x to the fifth plus 7x plus 9 times, we have x squared plus 4x plus 1. <clears throat> okay, so now if we think about which one is which, well, we can associate this with f of x and that with g of x. It doesn't really matter, but let's go ahead and be consistent with this. So we know then that f of x is going to be x to the fifth plus 7x plus 9. And we know that g of x is going to be equal to x squared plus 4x plus 1. Now, notice that we need to also include f prime of x and g prime of x, so let's find these separately. f prime of x then would be 5x to the fourth plus 7. g prime of x would be equal to 2x plus 4. Okay, so now we can then go ahead and find out what y prime is. So the derivative of y with respect to x, which is the same thing as y prime, is going to be equal to f prime, which is going to be 5x to the fourth plus 7, times it by g of x, which we know is going to be x squared plus 4x plus 1, plus then we take f of x, which is going to be this x to the fifth plus 7x plus 9, times it by g prime of x, which is going to be the 2x plus 4. Okay, and there you go. That's how you go ahead and determine what the derivative is for the product of those two functions. So, of course, if you wanted, if you needed to, you would then go ahead and distribute this, distribute that, collect all the like terms. But there's going to be a nice important thing to remember for later is that uh, a lot of times what we're going to have to do is we're going to actually have to look for factors that we can take out and then we can simplify the expression much more easily. But for at this point in time, what we really want to be able to do is just be able to come up with the derivative. Okay? So let's take a look at another example. <clears throat> example number two. They are going to get a little bit harder as we go. Here's example number two. Example number two says, let's say, for example, that y is going to be equal to x to the fifth plus 9x times it by x squared plus 1 raised to the fourth power. Okay. Now, if we wanted to go ahead and determine what the derivative of this was, again, we need to go ahead and associate what f of x is and what g of x is. So f of x is going to be x to the fifth plus 9x, and g of x is going to be equal to this x squared plus 1 raised to the fourth power. Now, if we go ahead and take a look at this, then we know that f prime of x is going to be equal to 5x to the fourth plus 9. Now, if we go ahead and take a look at g of x, you've got to be careful with g of x. g of x is a composite of two functions, a composition of two functions. So what we need to do is we need to use the chain rule. So let's go ahead and use the chain rule and come up with this. 
this is g prime of x, is going to be 4 times it by x squared plus 1 raised to the third power times it by 2x. Okay, and there you go. So, <clears throat> what we have now then is we have d of y over d of x is equal to y prime, it is going to be equal to again f prime of x, which is this, 5x to the fourth plus 9, times it by g prime of x, which is this, so times it by 2x, oh, we can just go ahead and write that as 8x, times it by 8x times it by x squared plus 1 raised to the third power, plus then we're going to go ahead and take f of x, which is going to be x to the fifth plus 9x, times it by g prime of x, which is going to be x squared plus four, oh, x squared plus 1, raised to the fourth power. Okay, now this is where, that, uh, where the factorization would actually come into play. Now notice that in this case here, we have the x squared plus 1 raised to the third, and the x squared plus 1 raised to the fourth, so that means that we can factor that out, and this is going to be really important that you can do this, because in later chapters, when it comes to the applications, factoring this and putting this derivative in its factored form is going to be very important. So let's go through this algebraic exercise here. Now, how many of these x squared plus 1's can we factor out? Well, we can factor out 3. So we get x squared plus 1 raised to the third power. Okay, and what do we have left? Well, we have this 8x times it by the 5x to the 4th plus 9, <clears throat> and plus, we get the x to the 5th plus 9x times it by x squared plus 1. Okay, and of course if we could go ahead and then later on and simplify this, that would be helpful because we want to go ahead and determine what factors we have and factorize this as much as possible. Okay. So, in this case over here, what we had then is we had not only the straight derivatives in terms of the product rule, but we also needed to use the chain rule because at times we will come out with a composite function. That is one of the main functions that you have here for the product of two functions. Okay? So, there you go. We have now the product rule, which is one other thing that we can tack on to our list. And we can only have, and we will only have one more before you can now say, before you can say that you can differentiate any function that's given to you. Okay, so there's the product rule. Give it your best shot. See how you do. See you next time.